I think the death of the branch isn't that close. I think, I think it's still got some time to go. Um, but only if we understand and manage the experiences of these customers. It's incredibly interesting that if a customer engages with you across multiple channels, whether or not it's on the they actually own and purchase more products from that. That means the, the value of the customer is that much higher. So this is what we should be pushing customers to do. Engage more with us through multiple channels. Customers demanded mobile, that's why we provided mobile. Customers demanded web, that's why we provided web. They're also demanding Facebook. They're also demanding Instagram. Haven't quite figured out how you're gonna ask them to bank with Facebook just yet. Right? But that, that requirement is coming from your customer. And as long as they can engage with you over those platforms, they will purchase more from you. The, the stats around branches and the number of people that, that go in, this, so to be honest, this data shocked us as well. But this is 2018 data, so the, the data was compiled at the end of, of last year, which is not very long ago. 50% of transactions still terminate in branch. So as much as we're, and this is US data, but so I'm not even talking about Asian data yet. So with such an advanced market, where they're so mobile, where they have access to, to digital from everywhere, and the penetration of iPads and iPhones and everything is, is massive across the country, they're still terminating in branch at close to 50%. But what's more important is that all of your customers are now looking at all of your channels. So when you start with a customer in one place, whether it's web, they may not necessarily terminate in web. So when you're mapping journeys, you may want that customer to do everything online, but hey, that costs three cents. Right? You're terminating him online, and that's fantastic. But he doesn't do that. He starts on web, he'll then go look somewhere else, he'll look at his mobile app, and ultimately, if you look at these stats, 50% of your web visitors close in your browser. So the opportunity for digital, especially in Asia, right, is, is massive. There's, there's still so much scope for growth. There's still so many people that have not yet been reached that you can empower with digital capability. But it's one channel. It's a very important channel. It's something everybody's talking about because we know, look, it's already eroded 50% of your walk-ins. So you know that you have to deal with this channel. The opportunity is, is one that if you don't get right, you'll do yourself a disservice. So you must invest in this space. The other problem is, because acquisition is so cheap, and maintenance of, of these customers is so cheap going online, as you educate your customers, you're educating them for your competition. So there's a whole lot of pure play digital banks that are trying to get in and take your customer as well. The scary part is so while, while we're saying that 50% of people terminate inside your branch, over 50% of your customers are willing to move more than 35% of their deposits with you to a pure play digital bank. So getting this situation right is incredibly important. Understanding your customer's journey, making sure that you know what they're looking at, when they're looking at it, is fundamental. So that when he comes from one channel and goes to another, you continue that journey so he doesn't have to restart anything. There's nothing worse than doing something online, having to fall over to the call center and re-explain your entire desire to that call center person and then being bounced around and saying, I'm sorry, you have to turn off the branch. You just ruined that customer's experience. The, the transactions that, that you're looking at moving to digital art are all the basic ones, right? Which are the balance transfers or balance inspection, all the ones which we know we can move.